Professor Peter Lynch is Director of UCD Meteorology and Climate Centre, where he and his team work to predict what changes are likely to occur for us to adapt to them. Well, the Earth's climate is changing and human activities are the primary cause. Uh, we've all heard about the greenhouse effect. Basically, we're pumping CO2, that's carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere, primarily through the use of fossil fuels. And this is acting as a kind of blanket. What happens is the sunlight can come in and warm the surface of the planet, but the outgoing radiation is caught by this CO2. And the more CO2 in the atmosphere, the greater the warming effect. So in fact, the climate is warming up. Now, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, has studied this problem very deeply. They've reviewed the work of thousands of scientists and have found there's really no doubt anymore about climate change and about the basic causes. In some ways, it's quite frightening. Temperatures are up, rainfall patterns appear to be changing. The increases in storminess that we've seen around the world are attributed to this. The atmosphere and ocean are physical systems, so they behave according to fairly well-known physical laws, such as Newton's law of motion, conservation of energy, even Boyle's law that we learned at school. So we have a fairly complete system of physical laws which we can express as a set of mathematical equations. These are called nonlinear partial differential equations. Now we can't solve these with a pencil, but we can program them on a computer. And the program that does this is called an Earth System Model. This Earth System Model will simulate climate under conditions that will pertain in the future. It's being developed from the world's leading forecasting model, the ECMWF, European Centre Medium Range Weather Forecasts. In UCD, we're developing an Earth System Model called EC Earth. Now, the idea here is to take the best weather forecasting model that we can and turn it into the world leading Earth System model. And we're particularly interested in the influence of the North Atlantic on Ireland's weather and climate. Naturally, we're at the edge of this major ocean. It's going to have a profound effect on what happens to the climate in Ireland. This is a mammoth computational task, but we're fortunate to have access to the iCheck platform. iCheck is the Irish Centre for High End Computing. And the, this centre has perhaps the most powerful computer in Ireland, and we have that available to carry out this task. UCD and Met Aaron have been collaborating for the last five years on a regional climate modelling programme called C4I, that is Community Climate Change Consortium for Ireland. And quite recently, we produced a report on the main result. This is called Ireland in a Warmer World. What predictions have they been able to make so far? The warming will continue for the next 100 years and indeed beyond, but we're looking at that time spell. So three to four degrees is the most likely range. Rainfall patterns will change significantly with wetter winters and drier summer. And this has quite profound implications for water availability. Uh, storminess, the, the frequency and severity of stormy weather is likely to increase. Sea levels are expected to rise by three to four centimetres a decade which is rather significant when you add up the decades, and uh, flooding events will likely become more frequent. <laughs>